Hello, my name is Mayan Shaw with RVMax.us and today I have this 2005 Holiday Rambler Coach Navigator. Now this is a 43 PBQ. It's in, finished in a beautiful full body paint sea mist paint job. It has a, not, a lot of nice upgrades and options um, that one of them includes the Detroit Series 60, which is a fantastic motor. So I'm excited to get in depth with this coach and we're going to talk about the condition, how it drives, and uh, just give you an in-depth review on everything and if I see flaws I point it out so let's get started up front you've got a panoramic one-piece windshield the seals look great I don't think there are any rock chips or anything but I'm double checking just to make sure there are no cracks no rock chips whatsoever up here it looks good the face of the coach is in excellent condition you really see no rock chips um, almost at all. It looks like if the 3M film was, has been recently taken off because the 3M film is not there. It probably went bad and somebody had it taken off, which means the front of the, the face of the coach is in excellent, superb condition. Now right now you hear the 10,000 watt Onan quiet diesel generator running. Now open it up. It's on an electric slide. You just open this door and push the button. And while we're in here in this compartment, you can see all the le electronics. There's a lot of stuff for the chassis side. There it is. Easy to maintenance. It's a little dusty right now, but that's okay. We're going to have that detailed and cleaned up. But you can see it runs great, fires right up. That's a good generator. Um, and it needs that 10,000 watt power because it's got three roof air conditioners, which all have heat pumps as well. The Holiday Rambler, this Navigator is actually the sister coach um, or cousin to the Monaco Signature. So it shares the Roadmaster S line chassis, which is a fantastic custom built chassis by Monaco Corporation. And the Navigator is the top of the line. It's the flagship from Holiday Rambler. And now this is a legacy Holiday Rambler. So if you see the 2018, 2019 Holiday Rambler Endeavors, by the way, this is your fuel tank which is accessible from both sides. If you see a 2018 Holiday Rambler Navigator, that's a completely different coach because it was bought up, this brand was bought up in about 2008, 2009, and the new Navigators are nothing like these old legacy Navigators. Uh, this is a high-end flagship coach that has a lot of nice options, Detroit Series 60 being one of them, and the new Navigators are, um, they're still nice coaches, but they're not a flagship coach. And totally different craftsmanship qualities. I apologize, I don't have the bay lights on, but this does have compartment lights in here. This is a full pass-through storage compartment right here. The lower compartment doors are in excellent condition. A lot of times you see a lot of flaws down here on the lower ends of the coach. Um, and this one actually looks really good. The paint condition and the exterior condition of the coach is fantastic. We've got another full pass-through storage compartment. There's some extra things that go with the coach. You see, this is a little box, a sensor right here. This is for, this coach is equipped with an Eaton Vorad system, which is a collision avoidance warning system. And it also keeps, um, you know, it's like, a it keeps a following distance if you set cruise control. So it'll maintain a certain distance from a car, which is actually really nice, really useful on long road trips. Decreases stress uh, by a, a lot. If you've driven one with an Eaton Vorad system, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now right here, you have your 50 amp power cord as well as your water hose, which are both on electric reels. So you can push a button, they'll go in and out. It's really nice, really easy. And these both go up, like sort of like a Prevo, a Prevo bus, um, or some people like to pronounce it Prevo, but I'm from South Carolina, so I pronounce it Prevo. But this is really nice for these two compartments, especially those that make sense for to have them fold out like that because you have a slide out. But here it's nice, if you're filling up, your water connecting to water supply, and you've got a pole right here, your water supply right there. You don't wanna to have to open up your door. It's really nice to have them both pop up like this. This is your wet bay right here. Got an outside shower, like a little sink. There you go. The Seamus paint job is fantastic. Now notice it's got two electric window awnings here on this pass on the driver's side of this coach. It's got a full Girard system all the way around. You got your dualies back here. 
Aluminum wheels all the way around, of course. This is a high-end coach. It's a very striking motorhome to look at. Let's take a step back here. It's got a massive side radiated setup. But here's that fantastic Detroit Series 60, 515 horsepower. And you'll actually note, I was reading through the brochure from Monaco, I mean, not from Monaco, from Holiday Rambler 2005 Navigator, and they actually said, I'm quoting Holiday Rambler, this is not my own statement, that the Detroit Series 60 is an option and it provides more torque for getting up hills and it's also smoother and it gives you less vibrations while going down the road. So I guess there's less, it's just a smoother engine all around. Now this Roadmaster chassis, S chassis, is, it's got a full heavy duty steel frame and subframe as well as superstructure. So the whole coach is framed in steel. Now the front cockpit area actually has a steel cage for extra safety if you ever get in a wreck. Um, hopefully you never will, but it's nice to know you have those safety fe features. I'm going to go and fire the coach up real quick and I want to let you hear this, this engine because I've, I've started this motorhome up you know, six or seven times by now moving it around our, our yard and taking pictures of it. And the first few times I started it up, I, I, I started it and I came back here and just listened to the engine because I'm a big motorhead. I love vehicles and I love big engines. I love big Cummins engines. And Detroit is one of the best out there as far as sound goes and as far as quality. So let me go to Fired Up and let you take a listen. All right, we're up on the roof now, and I'm actually recording this on a different day. It's been raining for the last few days. If you watched my Tiffin Allegro bus video, it was actually raining during the recording of the roof video, but today it stopped raining a few hours ago. It's beautiful out here. So back here we have our mobile, this is an automatic tracking satellite little dish. So you push a button inside, once you're in a camp spot, it pops up, and it'll automatically track. You can hook up your disk service to it um, or anything like that. This is a three low profile roof air conditioner coach. So we've got one in the back over the bedroom area here. Right here we've got our bathroom area exhaust fan. That's our shower right here. We'll talk more about the stuff in front, but for now check out this bathroom toilet area. Fan vent has a max air cover on it, which is a really nice upgrade to have. Now this is a vent for your refrigerator right there. Then we have our second roof air conditioner. Now this is an interesting feature right here that this coach has. It's actually a really high powered exhaust fan and this is in the kitchen area. So this has its own little shroud so it can be on anytime. This is from the factory. Monaco coach generally does this in their motorhomes. This is actually a really neat feature. I, I thought it was an exhaust fan, but just to make sure, I, I FaceTime my dad. You know, he's been around a little longer than I have. So, yeah, he told me that Monaco Coach does this to a lot of their motorhomes. They have these really nice high power exhaust fans in the kitchen area. We've got a little minor crack here. It's not too big of a deal. We can probably put a little bit of sealant on it just to make sure. This is the front air conditioner right here. It looks like it has a new shroud. These are all low profile, so this is the newer looking low profile shroud. Got a standard antenna. And then we have our TrackStar in-motion satellite dish. So this will track your satellite signal while going down the road. So that is a really nice feature. You can be watching, watching Dish Network for the most part while going down the road. So that's a huge benefit right there to have that system. 
A little bit of clear coat coming off the top cap, but actually not too bad considering it's an 05. Normally, you know, on an older coach, especially if they've been out in the sun for too long, I always say this, you'll see clear coat even down on the front cap. So this coach is on the flat parts on the top. It is not visible from the, you know, from the ground at all. You'd have to be above the coach somehow to notice this little bit of clear coat coming off. We've got two air horns. And this is a Holiday Rambler Monaco Corporation coach here. So it has a seriously nice and deep air horn. And this is, of course, a one-piece crown fiberglass roof with fiberglass one-piece caps on each end of the motorhome. So there are no seals going on the side is what that essentially means by having one piece. You have, you know, some seals down there, but they're not actually on the top of the roof. So they're a little less exposed and they don't need maintenance as much. But the roof looks great. You really can't go wrong with a fiberglass roof because unless something awful happens, like a tree falls on the coach, you're never really going to have a significant leak and you're never going to really have to do any significant maintenance to the roof besides these little small caulkings around all the shrouds and things like that. So excellent looking roof. All right, we're on the passenger side of this coach now. And you can see we've got the electric window awning on your passenger side rear slide, which is extended right now. We also have the Girard awnings up front that we'll talk about more later, but they're actually, you can get, get an idea of how deep they are. They're pretty, pretty sizable. So back here, these are gonna be some engine control boxes, um, panels for that, some electricals. You can start it from back here as well. You can turn the front ignition start key off as well so you can't start it from the front. This is your battery compartment. Batteries look pretty fresh. These are all coach side batteries by the way. The two chassis side batteries are in the back engine bay compartment. All these locks are really high quality. They're a metal, they're not plastic, and they click in place very solidly. Now this is your passenger side dually as well as tag. And the shine coming off of those aluminum wheels is fantastic. Right there is your water compartment. It's your water storage on the bottom. Now hidden back in there is your Aqua Hot unlimited diesel fired hot water system. You have two filters for your water system there on the right and your water pump is on the bottom right there. Easy access. You also have a uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like a modular setup. So if you have a leak in one specific spot in your coach, you can turn it off on the left. There's like a little a thing. There's a lot of high-end coaches come with that. So you can control leaks. If you're out on the road and you have a little a spring a leak in your water system, you can keep going and just turn that little spot off. This is the passenger side view of your rear pass-through storage compartment. All the storage compartments are felt. They have felt lining and they are heated and cooled as well. They're ventilated, is what I should say. It's the front passenger side view of your pass-through storage compartment. Another pass-through storage compartment. You got a little scuff right here. That actually looks like paint on the surface. You could probably get that off. Not too bad. This coach is actually really clean. Considering it's a 2005, the paint condition is excellent. This is a passenger side view of your diesel storage. Yeah, considering this is a 2005, you walk around it and it's actually, it's really clean. You don't see any clear coat coming off. There's no delamination. There's no checking in the paint. A lot of times Monaco products, if they sit in the sun too long, um, or not just Monaco, a lot of full body paint. If they sit in the sun too long, you'll see paint checks occurring in your paint, in your paint work. And this coach has none of that. Now note your large Girard awning here, patio awning. And by the way, that entrance awning is also a Girard, which is really nice. A lot of them come with uh, electric um, entrance awnings. It's made by a company I won't name that are notorious for going bad. But Girard is a high-end, very reliable electric setup for your awnings. This is a very beautiful coach. By the way, note the heavy-duty slide step that goes flush with the coach and is painted. So your stripes continue even down your step. I really like that. You've got keyless entry. By the way, all the doors 
we've got the remote. The owner has the remote for this coach. Um, so we can press unlock and unlock all the doors, lock them up with the same thing as well as this door right here. We've got a deadbolt, of course, and the keypad. And it does have a doorbell. <laughs> all right, let's step inside. I don't want to go in there for a while. It's pretty bad. Hey, how's it going? All right. Um, so as you can see, I've been getting pretty comfortable in this coach. And it's a beautiful flagship motorhome built by Holiday Rambler when they were in their heyday, right before the 2008 financial crisis. And they unfortunately went under and were bought out by another company, just like many other manufacturers of the time, including Fleetwood, by the way. However, Holiday Rambler has been for years a known name and respected name within the RV community. And they build beautiful coaches like this. And it's great being in a flagship coach. You see this beautiful woodwork, the beautiful the rope lights, the really cool TV set up in the front, and this gorgeous tile, and the countertops look great. So let's get started. I'm going to talk about the condition a little bit. If I see any flaws, I'm going to point them out. I've been looking around a little bit, trying to get an idea of the flaws that I should point out. And there really aren't that many. Now over here to your left, we have a gorgeous couch. Got really neat designs on it and it's showing like absolutely zero signs of wear. There's no staining on it, there's no signs of wear and tear. It's a very comfortable couch. As you can see, I've really been getting comfortable in here and the couch is also a comfortable seating device. Now check out the accent pieces around, the wood, around your windows. They have this cushioned material that matches the colors of the coach and the couch and the carpet but it's also got this beautiful natural cherry wood to go along with it with a little natural cherry real wood not a plastic insert piece molding right there it's not a molding it's, it's i mean it, that has to be crafted probably by machine but it looks really nice the woodwork is excellent there's a a mild slight glaze to it it's not all the way on the spectrum of beaver shiny however it does have a little bit of shine. It's sort of in the middle of the spectrum, and I really like it. It's got a slight glaze to it, but it's not overly shiny in your face. It just depends on what you like. I really like this type of woodwork. Monaco, in my opinion, Monaco, Holiday, Rambler, Safari, they have some of the best woodwork uh, that I've seen, including Beaver, too. They have really nice woodwork. Now we're in the kitchen area here, and you've got a plenty of countertop space here, and you've got this gorgeous backsplash that is all real stone. This is not fake. This is all real. And you have a little hutch area here that also has the continued backsplash area. The lighting is excellent as well. The hutch area has its own light. You've got a light right here, light here. This is a high-end, sharp convection oven, microwave convection oven here. You've got a high output dual electric stove, stove top. The princess. So this is it's built by Saran. This is the type of cooktop you'll see in a Prevo coach. If you go look at Prevos, I know we all like to look at them sometimes online, including myself. I've seen and we I've been around plenty of Prevos myself as well. So this is a hard surface here. It's like a ceramic. The right side being a lot deeper than the left side. With these super nice inserts that fit perfectly in here. A lot of times on lower end motorhomes to have these inserts, you'll see a lot of big gaps. And this one, these fit very nicely. And also what that means is there's really not gonna be that many vibrations coming from back here. You have a nice little soap dispenser there. And by the way, this mowing comes out, moan. So that's a nice little dishwash sprayer. Check out the wood accents piece around that window here. Significant attention to detail within this motorhome. All the switches are backlit, these gorgeous piano switches. That's what I like to call them. I don't know if that's a technical word, but they look like my dad calls them piano switches, so I've sort of inherited that word. But they're all backlit. And what's kind of neat about them, they come on when you flick a switch on. However, they stay on once you have a lot of lights you know, activated within the coach. However, if you turn one of them off, it will slightly dim the light. So if you glance at it, you know it's not on, but it's still backlit. So at night, you still can see and read, but you know something's off. You flick it up, it get, the backlighting gets a little brighter. So that's pretty. That's a neat little detail there. And that's just one of the many details. In a motorhome like this, you really need to spend a lot of time with it. And even after owning it for a year or so, you'll still be finding 
details, technologies, and quirks about it that are really nice. One of which will be you have an auto temp start. So you can set your thermostat here to, at a certain temperature. And when you enable this, what it will do is it will fire your generator up once you reach a, reach a certain threshold of temperature and you want it to either cool down or you want it to heat back up. So you can turn that on, it'll start the generator up, heat or cool the coach to a preset temperature, then it'll cut the generator off automatically. This is really nice. This is a, uh, a technology you see on Prevos that Prevo owners are, are very proud about, and this one has it, so that's pretty nice. You've got a household refrigerator here with an ice maker as well as a filtered water station. This is a massive refrigerator. This is a really nice refrigerator right here, made by Whirlpool. Got a dinette area. Check out the woodwork. And the wood is just, the color, it, the stain is beautiful. I really like this natural cherry. This is by far one of the most popular specks of wood you, can, you see in Monaco and Holiday Rambler coaches. Got storage compartments down here. This is a beautiful piece of quarry in here. Over here, we've got a European style recliner. Notice how the wood on the recliner matches the wood in the coach. This is a custom piece of furniture right here. That alone is, that probably costs Holly Ramble a lot of money to make back in the day just to have a custom seat ordered for these motorhomes in the color of the rest of the cabinetry and wood. This is like a little office area as well. So if you turn this here, you've got a nice little space. There's lots of, see right here, you can have a keyboard placed right there. You got a little hole for all your cables and stuff to run down in the bottom. You can even set up a, a printer here if you want. However, in this drawer right here, we have all the manuals and instruction manuals and schematics for a lot of the coach is in these two containers. It's got some Aqua Hot extra stuff, but and it's got an Eaton Vorad setup system as well. Even though I mean most of the systems are pretty easy to use if you've been around coaches. However, it's nice to have those just in case. Another little slide out panel here. This is really deep. Put a lot of office materials here, note paper, pencils, pens. And there's a lip too, so you don't have to worry about it going anywhere. All right, so let's look at the TV over here. So this is one of my favorite TVs. I remember as a little kid, whenever I saw a coach that had a fold down TV, I got really excited because generally the four fold down TVs were on super high end coaches and I loved being in super high end coaches because who doesn't like being in a super high end coach? So check it out. All you do is press this button right here and the TV slides down. I believe that is a 50 inch TV right there made by Sharp. Now that look seems to be the original TV and it's actually pretty nice. I mean, it's not too thick. A couple inches. I mean, nowadays that's really thick, but you know, back then this is a super high tech, super expensive TV. You got these speakers on the side here. Of course, you can always, you know, upgrade and put a even, you know, there's so much space in here. You've got space up here, space here. You could put, I would bet you could put easily a 55 inch TV in there. Maybe, maybe a little bigger if you wanted to be bold. A 65 inch would be a squeeze, but you could easily get a 55 inch smart TV up here in here if you wanted. But this TV works just fine. Uh, you can leave it. It's already hooked up all the systems, so it's ready to go. By the way, notice this. This is a camera. So while you're going down the road, you can use your Aladdin system and flip from your side cameras and rear camera to that camera to keep an eye on whoever's behind you, you know, just in case. All right, so all you do to put that TV back up, press and hold the button goes right back up. By the way, if you switch out to a new TV, that motor will probably thank you. Because it's probably not a very lightweight TV. <laughs> By the way, when it goes up there, it has another automatic lock, a safety lock, just in case. Uh, that I think is probably required by federal government or something, uh, DOT. <laughs> All right, let's step into the bathroom area here. Again, gorgeous tile throughout the bathroom. Check out this little piece right here. It's a beautiful little piece here. So just in case if you get some water here, it's not gonna go anywhere on the walls. It also looks really nice. Looks really high end. This vanity area, you've got lots of medicine cabinet space. Gorgeous wallpaper continues throughout the medicine cabinet, so that's nice. Th those are, that's a small detail, by the way, that doesn't seem that important, but it, it, it significantly contributes to the, the feel of a coach. 
it's a little thing, but for me and anyone else is who pays attention to detail and is detail oriented, this is a huge thing. And I know I'm talking a lot about this, but it's nice to have the wallpaper continue. It feels really cheap when you see the wallpaper back down here and then you open up a cabinet and it doesn't continue. It drives me nuts, but it's nice to see that continued throughout the cabinet space here. Locks in place. Everything also for other detail oriented people. I try not to go too crazy because I understand most people aren't uh, as crazy detailed oriented as I am. But the cabinets all shut with a nice quality feel. They all click with a really satisfying click and they're not going anywhere. That's really nice. The shower area is very large. It's glass enclosed. Slide that out of the way. Check this out. A lot of, I'd say 95, 90% of coaches, the, the walls in the shower are fiberglass, which is fine. Actually, including our 2007 American Eagle, we actually have fiberglass walls. I think it has some little piece of stone trim or something. But this is all a Corian, and it's got this beautiful, with a granite design in here. And yeah, that is like a granite in there. It's a granite insert design. It looks like a little leaf. It's, it matches the design of the designer carpet up front. Check this out. This is all Corian too. Soap holder, all your shampoos and stuff can go right there. That's granite, not a little fiberglass or plastic cheap little thing. Beautiful. Oh, check out this. This is really nice. Everything just feels very nice. You're, all, you're constantly being reminded you're in a flagship coach. Also, check out the headroom space here. There's a solid two feet above me here. That's a good bit of space. You'd have to be a basketball player. And even then, this would be probably enough space for you. You'd be a little cramped if you were seven feet tall. But this is plenty. This is plenty. It's about eight feet there. Space is pretty good. A lot of width. This is certainly well above average as far as shower space for a motorhome. So just slide that back. And there's a magnet. There's a, a magnet bar. So it clicks like that. There's also a little thing here. Um, this is an extra just in case. Put my shoes back on. Makes me uncomfortable getting into showers with my shoes. I feel like that's disrespectful to the coach. Now here we're in the, the bathroom area, the toilet area, which as you've seen, I've been very accustomed to. <laughs> and I hope you realize that obviously I was joking. Um, I, I, I know this is used motorhome, but it's not used by very many people. Got a nice space. Nice bit of cabinet space here. I like this trim piece, this wood trim piece that goes around. That's a porcelain toilet. Did I say porcelain? Yes, yeah, porcelain. <laughs> it's just I, I, a flash of, I thought about really nice like dishes and stuff. I was like, is that really made out of porcelain? I was like, yeah, it is made out of porcelain. Now we're in the bedroom area. Now this is a very spacious bedroom area. This is a quad slide coach, so you do have two slides back here. This slide being extra large, so this slide includes this little cabinet space here. So you've got all kinds, of, you've got a little drawer, comes out. That just needs to be adjusted, put back in this little rack thing. You can obviously slide them up and down wherever you want. See again, look at the click. They really click into place with a satisfying feel. All of the cabinets do that. Check out the wood design. Check out the design in the wood. You have this great looking centerpiece here. Designs all along and around the slide. You've got Corian countertops there. By the way, this has an Aladdin system and you have a screen right here to access that Aladdin system as well as a control for the Aladdin system. So uh, what this means, you can view all your systems, your tank levels and things like that. You can also see your cameras. So you can see your side cameras as well as rear cameras which means you can kind of, the coach is set up with sort of a security camera system so you can view that while sitting in bed, which is kind of a peace of mind thing. It's really nice. All right, let's take, let's take a step back here. Got a washer dryer combo. Over here we have a huge wardrobe area. And you have a light, you know, wardrobe lights, little piano switch there. Good bit of space back here. Got some papers that were printed out for the coach. It's also ventilated. You have, look at that shelf area back over there. 
and it looks like that's cedar. So you've got cedar up top, which is nice. Flip that light off. This is a very, very spacious bedroom. Normally you don't see this much space in front of the bed where we're standing here. And you also have you know, all kinds of space and storage here. I've got a bunch of remotes and some extra wires for it. It's got a uh, pressure pro system that goes with it. This, it's already got all the units on the tires. This is a nice little recliner. So really comfortable to sit down in. You've got this little pull out you know, cushion thing to put your feet up on which is nice, and it goes back under it. Now, you can take that out if you'd like, because it does take up a good bit of space. However, that is a testament to how much space you do have back in this bedroom. It's a very spacious, it feels like a home bedroom back here, which is really nice. Take a step and walk back here. You know, this is a 43-foot coach that feels like a 45 easily. It's got a lot of space. It is a flagship coach, and it's not often that you see flagship coaches that have that are 43 feet. Generally, flagship coaches from really high-end motorhome company manufacturers like Holiday Rambler are generally 43 feet, I mean 45 feet. So it's nice to have that two feet little shorter, make it a little easier to get around, and you have that big Detroit Series 60, you have the Eaton Vorat, and I'm getting all hyped up about the coach again. I told my dad yesterday, I was doing the video, I'm sort of selling myself on this motorhome. I love that Detroit Series 60, and I love the woodwork. I've always been a big fan of Monaco Company, Monaco Corporation, and Holiday Rambler, obviously. Monaco includes Holiday Rambler, Beaver, and Safari. Those are some of my favorite manufacturers in the coach business. Of course, that's personal preference, but this is a beautiful example of the Holiday Rambler Navigator 43 PBQ, and you gotta see it in person, but I hope the video does it justice to show you the condition of this coach and the really cool tech specs that it has. So let's go get talk about the cockpit area, Eaton Vora system, things like that, and then we're gonna get on the road and I'm excited to give this Roadmaster S chassis a test drive, so let's go. All right, I completely forgot to mention this little stain here. So we do have a little water stain, and what that is probably from, as you can see, it's in a corner here, and there's no stains on the wood or anything like that. It probably came in, you can actually see, you know, there's some marks from there. It probably came, when you pull in slides and those toppers have a lot of water on them, sometimes the water will slip in if you're on a slope, so if you're on a slope, you're sitting, you know, the coach, this is a driver slide, uh, driver side slide up. So if the coach is leaning towards the passenger side and you pull that slide in, some of the water will come in. That is probably what it's from. It could have been another leak, but judging by the fact that there's no, no stains or nothing going on up top, it does not look like a, a leak that's come from the roof. There's also no areas, you know, there's no like sun, like uh vent here there's nothing like that in this area which signifies and this is a obviously one piece crowned fiberglass roof so you're not just gonna have a random leak in the fiberglass unless there's a big crack and obviously we talked about the roof there's no big crack so there's you see there's no signs of intrusion so this probably came from the slide going in and out and there's a stain there and obviously the coach does not leak we've had it when it rained and all that so it, it the coach is sealed perfectly now, what we can do, we can try to get, the, we're gonna try to get that shampooed out. However, we do offer our professional floor guys who come in and they've done all our coaches. If you've seen our, our pictures, our videos, they do a really professional job. And for about three to $4,000, they can take out all the carpet in the coach and they, they can replace it with a $3 per square foot um, engineered waterproof flooring for you if you wanna do that. And that also will include the carpet on the slide out. They'll replace that with that um, engineered stuff. So you can do that. And also, there's a little bit of, if you want to customize it, you can choose what flooring you want to an extent. You can't go too thick because of the slide out. So that's why we choose this flooring. It's, it's a high quality waterproof flooring. And also, it's thin enough to go on the floor and you know the slides can clear it. So that's an option for you. Or you can just leave it. We're going to try to shampoo it. It's just a little water stain over in the corner. I didn't even notice, notice it. I totally forgot to, to mention it. So it's not that noticeable. Um, so just wanted to throw that out there. Again, we're talking about the condition of the coach as well as the fantastic benefits and amazing capabilities of this motorhome. So we're trying to be very honest here with what we've got. And normally we would, I forgot to mention this, normally we would have gone and replaced all this, but this is a consignment coach, so that's why we have a little more, um, you know, we, we're, we're giving you the option to do that if you want to. So it's a little different dynamic. 
All right. All right, I'm gonna go just give a quick rundown of the, uh, all the controls I here, have here in the driver's seat. So over to my left, I have the HWH computerized leveling system. That's the air leveling system right there, and it's automatic. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this is equipped with an air leveling system as well as a hydraulic leveling system, and the hydraulic leveling system controls are right here. That is a really, really nice setup to have both air and hydraulic jacks. Now, if you had a six-speed Allison transmission, I believe it's the 4000 series. I have my Aladdin controls. The pedals are adjustable, electric. I've got a dual-stage exhaust brake here. This is to adjust your mirrors, which, by the way, all three, there are three different mirrors um, up there. All three of them are electrically adjustable. So right here, you select bottom, middle, top, and then left and right, and then you can adjust them. That's really nice. So I've got electric power shades here, mirror heat. I've got all my different fog lights and docking lights here. Battery boost, tag axle dump, air dump. Engine's running right now, it's butter smooth. I hope you enjoyed that startup video. I know I, uh, I love those startup videos. A lot of times I'll catch myself on YouTube looking up big diesel startup videos. The Detroit Series 60 is a great one to listen to. So over here you've got your voltmeter, water temperature, uh, I take that back, that's your transmission temperature right there, gauge, water temperature is over there, oil pressure, you've got your airbag pressure, boost pressure, which is really cool, I don't think it's going to have any boost in neutral, no it won't, but that goes up and down, which is really cool, uh, I love having boost gauges, and you've got a CB radio, uh, you know, some creature comforts, you've got your you know, ventilation system. Generator start stop, city highway horn, slash highway horn. You got your extra auxiliary defrost fans, step cover button. Now, interesting, it's got a block heater for those super, super cold days. You'd have to be in Alaska to actually want to use a block heater. And you also have uh, aqua hot engine preheat system as well. So you've got two ways of heating the engine up. Those are over there. Um, then you right here, you have your screen, which is a radio. Also serves as a screen for your Aladdin system and it shows you all your cameras. So right now it's showing rear camera, indicate to the left, shows your left side camera. By the way, look at the quality of that. It's, it's completely dark right now and you can still see everything over there. That's an impressive camera, especially for 05. And by the way, mounted on the, on the mirrors, which is my favorite position, favorite place to have them mounted. It gives you the best angle of seeing the entire side of the coach. So, all right, that will conclude that. I've got two 12 volt outlets there as well and more for the passenger all right let's hit the road all right we're getting on the highway now and i will say i just drove it down woodruff road just a local road here in greenville south carolina and the steering is so smooth and this detroit series 60 is really really smooth and has plenty of power um we're up at 45 50 I can't even hear the engine. I can barely hear it over the, the heat that we have running right now. The indicate, and you can see it's showing my side camera, my driver's side camera there. Indicate one more time, shift over. We're already up at 65 miles an hour. Oh, this Detroit Series 60. There's a reason that Prevos have Detroit Series 60 engines. They're butter smooth. And this chassis is excellent. The set cruise control, 67 miles an hour. Oh, it's so smooth. This Roadmaster S chassis is superb. Look at this. It feels like a tag axle coach should feel. This is an excellent chassis. And I've already driven this coach a lot of miles. Well, not really a lot of miles, but uh, I've driven it probably 10 miles, 15 miles because I drove it back to our, over to our house um, where I took pictures of it, drove it back, and now I'm taking it out to drive it again. It drives super well. I'm gonna jump back on the highway here, turn around and go right back. Wow. I'm just gonna, this is an interesting intersection here. I love the wood steering wheel. This is one of my favorite things uh, about 
I like high-end cars that have wood steering wheels. It just feels really nice. I don't know what it is about it, but uh, I'm particular to the wood steering wheels. And this one has a big wood grip up here. This leather over here, if you want to grip it by the leather, and then wood down here. Now this is a smart steering wheel. So I've got my uh, controls over here, which is really easy to access. I can just put my thumbs on them to grab them and access them and use. So it really, after you get used to it, it's second nature, just clicking all the buttons. This is a great feeling coach, great feeling engine. Oh yeah, transmission feels great. I believe it's got a 4000 series Allison transmission. Already up at 55 miles an hour. The vibrations, there really aren't any from coming from the engine. There are no vibrations coming from the engine. And I really want to highlight the fact that even in the brochure, Holiday Rambler made a point to say that the Detroit Series 60 is the choice to make if you want to get up hills and you want minimal vibrations. Um, and add that Detroit Series 60 to the fact that this is a Roadmaster S chassis, the top of the line custom chassis from Monaco, and you set yourself up to really just cruise down the, down the highway and get out of the coach feeling refreshed, not beat up. I mean, I'm sitting in these really high-end luxury plush seats I've got one of the best chassis on the market, and I've got, I would almost say, the best engine that you can get in a coach um, for the money. You know, this is there's a reason that they put the Detroit Series 60 in the Prevos. Again, those are million mile coaches like that, and this is a million mile motor. And beyond being superbly and excellently reliable, it's butter smooth. And we got over 500 horsepower and a whole crap ton of torque. A lot of torque. This thing's made to pull. It's got, I think it's got a 10,000 pound towing capacity minimum. I would say 15, but it's, it's a 10,000 pound towing capacity. So excellent driving coach, excellent driving coach to say the least. And you really have to come drive it to really understand what I'm saying here and hopefully uh, interested buyers out there who come and test drive the coach have driven many other coaches because I'm willing to bet that this will be one of the best driving coaches they put their hands on by far and and I, I'm willing to bet ten dollars so if you come out here and uh, it's not I'll give you ten dollars <laughs> by the way electric sun visors up there anyways I'm gonna go ahead and and stop my ramblings because I'm just going to keep repeating myself and repeating myself on how nice this is to drive. I'm a big Roadmaster fanboy, as you can probably tell, and I'm a big Detroit Series 60 fanboy. The fact that the first time I started up, I just went back there and sat and listened to it for a solid couple of minutes, hearing the turbo spool up and it, oh, it's, it's a great engine. It's a really great engine. And this is a superb flagship coach. So anyways, that'll conclude the video. I didn't even talk about the Eaton Vorad system. You already know it exists. It's a great system. You see those LEDs there? So it's keeping track of how close things are on the right side. It just went off because there's a car next to me. Um, and you can turn up and down the sensitivity. Really nice uh, anti-collision avoidance system. Or collision avoidance system. Anti-collision avoidance system is a double, double negative. It doesn't make sense. Collision avoidance system. <laughs> Anyways, that'll conclude the video. This is an excellent coach. The condition is really nice. It's got a lot of high-tech features like the hydronic heating, aqua hot system. It's got that excellent chassis, the best engine you can really get in a coach, especially from this era. And I mean that. When I say that, that, is the, that this is the best engine you can get in a coach, I stand behind that. Uh, the, nothing to put down the, uh, the Cummins and the Cats. Those are also very good engines but the Detroit's the top dog, taste the cake. I'm sorry for everyone out there who owns it. A Cummins and a Cat, I'm sorry. And guess what? We have a Cummins. Again, nothing to say. They're, the Cummins is a really good engine. There's nothing wrong with the Cummins and Cat. It's just the Detroit is, is the, the Detroit sets the bar, it sets the standard. By the way, indicators on your three partition mirrors they highlight, which is really nice. You've got all kinds of crazy nice fog lights and docking lights. There's huge spotlights on the back of it. There's 
docking lights all up down the sides of it. Really illuminates your path, which is really nice when you're parking at night. To pull into our storage facility here carefully because there's a bump. The turning radius is excellent. I believe it's a 50 degree turning radius. But please take my word. I try to be very honest when I talk about coaches. Um, and I want to be honest. So when I get to a place where I make a point of saying that this is one of the most excellent coaches that I've driven, especially on the used market, outside of the Prevo spectrum, um, I really mean that. This is an excellent driving coach, the Roadmaster S chassis. If you want to see another one of my videos, look at my, uh, I believe it was a 2009 a Holiday Rambler Imperial that we had. It had a Cummins ISM in it, and it was also on the Roadmaster S chassis. Look at my video there. I was also speaking very highly of how, how that coach drive, because the Roadmaster S chassis is it's a really good chassis. Um, so anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I've had some people, uh, you know, they'll, they'll text us and call us, they'll miss out on a deal. One of the best ways to avoid missing out on a deal is if you, uh, if you go to our channel, I think you have to subscribe as well. So you subscribe and then press the notifications. So what happens is when you turn that on, as soon as we post a new video online, it will send you a notification. So you can check out what we've got and be one of the first people to see uh, one of our new inventory and one of the new videos. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other questions on this coach or would like to schedule an appointment to come check it out in person, uh, call or text 864 Four zero four zero zero five four, which is my dad's phone number and check out our description we'll have a link to the ad which also has the phone numbers that you can call or text a little easier to, to read the numbers off the screen than slow down and listen to me saying the number so anyways thank you so much